All right, guys, it's a beautiful day because we're starting our drift track. Come on. Curvy driveway. Curvy driveway, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it depends who's watching right now. So we're at our farm right now. The plan is to build a drift track that's got a skid pad right here and then a bunch of curves. We honestly have not dialed in the layout of the track yet, which is probably not good because our buddy Rich is coming to start dozing in one day. As far as building a drift track, I don't think you want to be figuring it out as you go, but that's really the only way we know how to do it. So. <laughs> We're gonna be doing that today, and honestly, it usually turns out pretty good. It's worked for us this far. We got Mark here with his skid steer and his tree like grinder attachment. This thing is freaking crazy. But he's gonna basically plow through this patch of trees and make kind of like an X. We wanna leave most of them just because it adds a nice feature and even some danger to drifting. Yeah, if it needed any more danger. This is what we're hoping it'll look like. We'll pop it up on the screen. That's kind of what we drew in like two minutes ago. So uh, <laughs> yeah, we yeah put I mean, a lot that's, of thought the, into that's this. the plan. It's not gonna be cheap either because asphalt is not cheap and all this grading and all that, but it should be legit when it's done. Cause obviously we got dirt tracks. Now we'll have a car track. Dude, what a dream come true. Mark is the best friend anybody could ever ask for. He's got pretty much everything and anything that you would ever need to do anything. Just come over and do it for you. It's, it's the best, mostly because he doesn't trust us to use any of it. <laughs> Before Mark hops in, he goes, "Just nobody stand in front of me." He goes Don't to the first right tree. Right. Don't hurt the camera. We're like, bro, wait, wait. wait. Let's go, Mark. neighbors watching right now are like, wait, 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 what's going on? The only divide we have between us is these trees. Everyone that we've told this idea to is one, like, of course you guys are making a drift track. And two, like, do you really need to have trees incorporated into the drift track? And we're like, oh no, absolutely not. And especially wow. being novice drifters, it's the last thing that we should have, but it does add some entertainment value. I think Mark's got a vendetta against trees. Like, why would you own this thing? Dude, he, he, he came over here on his free time. So he took work excited. off. He took work off to come here and do this. He has a We're big, not even paying him. He has a pretty big smile on his face right yeah, now. He's yeah, loving, he, loves, he loves this way too much. All right, so Mark got done taking out most of the trees. There's still some to go. Uncle Rich is here in the brand new dozer that we rented. Not a scratch on this thing. Kind of weird to see, actually. Normally, I mean, these things run for thousands and thousands of hours. But seeing one just fresh like this is pretty cool and also kind of scary because I don't think we're going to get our security deposit back. Rich? What's up? All the way from India. How's it going? <laughs> Good to see you again, buddy. So yeah, basically the plan is now it's grading. Basically just carving into the earth where our curvy driveway is going to go. Easy enough. All right, let's get to it. Some cheese down. Don't be farting in that seat now, Rich. That's why they got the plastic on it. Uh, that plastic's gonna melt. The nice thing about Rich being so good is you don't really need to know much. You just kind of come here. It took me like two minutes. I'm like, all right, so like, just kind of carve this out, flatten it, and then bank it over on the driveway. And he's like, okay, I'm just, should I start now? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Did you guys both wear your cat shirts today for this? I did this on purpose, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we wanted that tree down. Man, Rich is just ramming these trees with his dozer. Down they go. So a little backstory on Rich, he builds tracks around the world. He's like one of the most sought out track builders. He does tracks for Supercross, he does tracks for X Games. He was just in India actually, building a Supercross track. He's got a very busy schedule, but he always makes room for us, which we really appreciate. When Rich runs equipment, it's like an extension of his body. He is one with the equipment. Definitely wouldn't have any of the tracks without the help of Rich because we wouldn't be able to build them this good. And we got Ryan over here trying to be little Rich. Hey, Rich Jr. He thinks he's helping. <laughs> we had to tell him, if you want, you could drive the skid steer, but that's it. <laughs> there you go, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, couple twigs. Together. 
Yeah. You're just like Rich Jr. <laughs> Doing all the same things, just in smaller equipment and smaller loads. Yeah, I'm just getting half as much done. Man, God damn it. Did you just break that? Yeah, I just broke it. I didn't break the attachment. I just broke the very important thing that makes all the other attachments work. You did move a few twigs around though. That was great. Yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> moved like five rocks. Nothing. I don't know, he was trying to be like you and then it just broke the machine. Lucky. Not everyone can be like you, Rich. All right, we had to take that grappling attachment off the skid steer. Ryan's just running a bucket now. Got demoted, but still doing his best. carved into the ground so now we just need to basically carve away another foot just so we can get the grade five in we figured maybe do a couple test laps yeah better see how it feels it is still wildly bumpy thankfully we got the rally subaru out here that is already probably on our last leg looking and then, better than ever yeah and then we'll put mike in the razor basically just feel out like the flow of it so we got all the trees removed for the driveway over here and then we'll be able to like kind of link it back in but now we it's just gotta feel like yeah. good enough to like flow we're already like kind of noticing a couple things that like don't flow mike's like Hey, it's not on you, Rich. Yeah, no shit, it's not on Rich. He's literally just following the well, flag. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, the there's a random flag in the middle of the trees over there. I don't what know what I'm mean? doing. This is the first track that we've had Rich come out here that we actually had flagged off. So if anything looks weird, it's definitely on us. Dude, that's but a just, good point. Rich has built us the first pit bike track, the second pit bike track, the rally cross track. Completely bike freestyles track. it. He's freestyled every track. Yeah, we never us, had any it, kind of input. Now the first time great. we do have input, now it's not going to work right. <laughs> Already smoking. How bad? Not that bad. I when you started it up and redlined it, good. Now let's see if it lasts this. This is so much fun and I feel so bad for this car right now. It's like first gear tapped out the entire time. Like first gear don't lift. It's running like shit. It's like woo, woo, woo. Let's go off in the four seater. All right, we got in the other razor now. is we are about to have so much fun. I cannot wait for you guys to experience what I just experienced in a car. Oh man, we are smoking a lot. Smoke. You were having too much fun, I get it. I haven't stopped smiling. Like it is so fun. Few turns that need to just be rounded off. That's Otherwise dialed. it's dialed. All right, Rich has been hard at work. Called Justin, HR. Can't have everyone running around hard at work. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the skid pad all finished up. So originally we were gonna just have the skid pad just be flat and then we we're gonna have like grass on the banked walls. That's not as fun. So we had him mellow it out enough to be able to asphalt it. So this will basically just be like an asphalted bowl in here. So we got the Subaru and our new Miata that probably shouldn't be taken out here, but we gotta test the flow of it and see if you can like rip the banks. I don't see what could go wrong. Like you don't scrape going on or off even. So good, dude. I can't wait to see Ryan's Z06 absolutely sideways scraping the wheels on the top. Well, I don't know about that. It's gonna grind <laughs> it like a skateboard. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. what I envision. You do like a 50-50 slide around it. All right, asphalt it. <laughs> All 
right guys, the day we've all been waiting for, they are finally putting down asphalt on the track. Pretty sick. Don't get complacent down there and get run over now. There's a lot of heavy machinery <laughs> around here. This is the final step though of this three month project. We started this at the beginning of summer and it's now August. About time. <laughs> but then also it just comes down to money. It's a very expensive project, so that's why it took us so long to get done. Shit. I've been looking forward to this day for so long! Oh my, sorry about the grass by the way, I can make more. Yeah. <laughs> you no, roll. <laughs> Did you guys think he was gonna roll? Yeah, I was going into the so why are we stop? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, he's really excited. He's been waiting for this for like three months, so. Imagine if I would've just rolled that bitch and I crawled out through the roof. Bro. I can't believe it's actually coming together, dude. It's been three months in the making. We've been working on it since May. Yeah. Look at this. It's going down, man. It's like gonna be a full on trip. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. Dude, look at that now. It's pretty fucking big. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's not like a little like private at home drift track. No. Just that is enough for a drift track. And then you got like a whole nother wood section over here. <laughs> yeah, dude. You need to get the tree feature. Yeah, you need the tree features. Just a little something to slide around, just to make it interesting. Dude, it feels almost too good to be true, but uh, after pretty much four months, the drift track is officially finished up. And it feels so good. This one is surreal. We've built the dirt bike tracks, we've built the tracks in the dirt, but to have your own drift track, that's one's goosebumps level cool, dude. Who, who has their own drift track? And just the way it turned out, it looks yeah. amazing. Yeah, like, it. it literally does not look real when you're standing on it. You're like, I cannot believe it. If you get a good view on this when the sun's going down, you kind of shed a tear. My favorite part is like, just build building a drift track and a drift pad wasn't enough for us. We had to build this car destroying drift wall. I think that's gonna be the coolest part. You whipping up on that, ripping your front lip off when you go back to the oh, flat. You already know that there's gonna be this Mustang side skirt laying at the top of it after yeah. the Mike's drift car's already smoking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just leftover oil on my oh, exhaust. Okay. Oh, it's not anyway, oil, anyway. You guys have seen Jake's car. You've seen the Hoonicorn. You've seen this piece of shit. But check out the Miata. Might be the best looking car on the track today. Miata 2.0. Know. Also, oh. the worst sounding <laughs> by far. You guys ever heard of a trombone? So this is actually a brand new red Miata that we then just threw some fender flares on. New wheels, of course, e-brake, angle kit. It's got the works just because our previous red Miata is blowing up right now. So we couldn't have a drift track without a red Miata part of the fleet. So we had to get this fresh. It's probably going to be the best car here. I think Good without way. further ado, let's do some drifting. <laughs> I almost want to let Jake just have like the first rip on it, dude. Nobody's more excited than this guy. Say the word, say yes, no. Hey. I don't know how you're getting this, but you got the honors. Yeah! <laughs> All right, everybody look out! It's oh, still a Mustang! Dude, when we built this drift track, our mechanics just took a really big sigh because they know there's gonna be so much broken stuff. There's no way all four of these cars make it through today, let alone the first 15 minutes. I know Mike's ain't making it. Jake might be on his last leg. The Hoonicorn is a fake car. It's a replica. So I know for a fact the Miata will be the only one standing. Dude, Miatas, they don't build them like they used to. The reason we like the Miatas so much is because they're cheap, they perform well, and uh, they're just tough as nails. Are you riding with? Don't make me regret this. Yeah! All right, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Are you scared? Uh, I actually trust you for some reason. Really? Yeah. I can't believe you're getting first right now, dude. dude. Thank you, guys. You bet, bro.
can tell. Can confirm. Jake is a wheel man. Can also confirm that was terrifying. You got trees on every single corner. Dude, I was puckered the entire time. Not for a single second did I feel comfortable. I trusted you, Jake. I knew you were the right guy for the job to be mobbing like that. I'm not even sure about that, actually, but might be delusional and just think he was, but that was insane. I love it! Dude, I don't know how you guys are gonna keep me off this thing. Yeah, we're getting a security guard, a full-time security guard for this thing. All right, Mike, your time to shine, brother. Excitement's there, but that's about all I got. No skills, no confidence. Car that barely runs. Yeah, and you guys do not fail to let me know that. Are you confident that it's gonna at least last you a couple laps? Yeah, I am, yeah. Prove the world wrong, Mike. Did my best. Mike and his drift car against the world. It's a never-ending battle. Oh, hey, it's Money Mike in the drift car again. You gotta keep a camera on this car at all times. You never know when it's gonna blow up. Yeah. Something's gonna break. I give it 30 seconds. Let's go, Mike! He's looking good. He's actually mobbing right now. Mike, Bro, that was so good. That was so fun. Mike's leaking something already. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh yeah, she's smoking. Oh, fire! 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 Kill it! Oh my god, it's all. Oh! Oh! Fire extinguisher! Fire extinguisher! Oh my god! It's actually on fire! There's a fuel rail there! Oh, fire mine! I don't know where to put it. Grab one out of my car! I'm gonna run in to get the fire extinguisher. I got the fire extinguisher. Is that it? Oh my god. Mike! You said that oil wasn't a big deal earlier. Oh, this is just leftover oil on my exhaust. Oh. Mike's drift car started on fire. Didn't this light on fire last time you drove it too? You need a fire extinguisher in there, Mike. Yeah. No Dude, kidding. When Jake goes, I got it! And he starts leaf blowing it. It's a and birthday candle. I don't think you're supposed to use air. <laughs> it's like just when you think yeah. we've seen it all with this car, it starts on fire. Most Dude, entertaining car out here every single time. Dude. Drifted it amazing and then starts on fire for without, the finale. Without <laughs> fail, bro. So far, the drift track has been nothing but a success. All right, let's see how the unicorn slides. Fake unicorn slides. Let's just hope the wheels stay on this time. I'm going dumb. I'm trying to move it and stop. Say the unicorn looks the best out here. That thing is unreal. <laughs> what do you think? So sick, dude. The wall burning was amazing. Oh man, I felt like an actual drifter there for a second. Yeah, it looked like you tried to do that on purpose. Oh yeah, yeah no, definitely, definitely tried to do that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> in here on that one. It looked really sick before you crashed though. Dude, this thing is like drifting a boat. It is so much work. It looks like you're working for it. Yeah, dude, I'm working for it and I'm I'm not very good at this either. I think you did better than Mike. <laughs> Video 
shift. Play power issue, but other than that, that thing's a beauty. So underpowered, bro. Yeah. No, Miata's never break, but the front lip did get torn off. You know how Miata's usually look like they're smiling? This one's kind of frowning. I'm sorry, fellas. <laughs> I, missed, I missed the corner. First crash, no tree. No tree. No tree, that's good. That's good. Out of all the places that you could crash on the track, this might have been one of the better spots for like repercussion wise. How much were you puckering when you were going off that? <laughs> he was a medium pucker for sure. The drift track would not be made possible without your guys' support. And one way that you can support us is buying our merchandise at cboystv.com. And in doing so, you also get entered to win this insane GTR that we're giving away and $25,000 cash. So every $5 that you spend on our merch gets you one entry to win this thing and the cash. Our merch is more than just merch, it's a brand. We have so many products on the website, so you should be able to find something that you do like. And uh, you might just win an absolutely insane 1200 horsepower wide body GTR in the process. But uh, we we just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting us as always even just watching the videos uh you make building an insane drift track like this uh possible because it without your guys support obviously we wouldn't be able to do it and uh, we take the money that we make and we just continue to reinvest it into the drift track and everything else that we do on the channel to make better content for you guys so it's really a win-win situation and whoever wins this gtr is really gonna win could be you so go and pick up some merch at cboystv.com and uh we'll see you guys in the next one Oh, 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 oh,